happy Mother's Day. Um, just in case my mama friends out there are watching um, because they're just enjoying some downtime and scrolling Instagram or watching stories. I thought I would just share with you one of my favorite mama traditions and that would be handprints. We do these canvas handprints every year. I've been doing it since our oldest was one year old and so that was 14 years ago and I'm still going strong. And by going strong, I mean I've consistently done it every year with all three kids, but I'm really behind <laughs> on when it actually happens. The goal has always been to do it around their birthdays, which fall at the end of the uh, end of the school or calendar year. End of the calendar year, um, my kids' birthdays are in September and December, and it's May, and we still need to do it. So I'm behind, and it's okay, and I'm doing it anyway. <laughs> so we're gonna. We're gonna do that today. So I've blogged about this. I mean, if you go to the blog at beckyhiggins.com and you search handprints, you're gonna see a couple of blog posts about this that walk you through all the details, but I thought it might be fun to show you a little behind the scenes on how we do it late. lately. I keep getting cut off. 10 seconds can be tricky. So um, let me show you kind of my process each time I do this every year, like what I actually think through and go through. The big thing is just, I always use the 40% off coupon. I get my eight by eight canvases at Michael's and or Hobby Lobby and I just have those all ready to go. I've had them sitting around for six months waiting for this this year's hand prints. Like I, okay, so those are on hand. We've got those ready to go. I actually have all the stuff set up for my kids because that is one of my mama wishes for Mother's Day that I wanted to make sure that we do that today. But then as far as choosing colors, let me show you what I do. I go to each of the collections of hand prints that we already have. Of course, each child has kind of their own collection. So this is Porter's, it's in an, um, an upstairs hallway. And I just glance at what we already have so far. And it's worth mentioning with Porter, his is a little bit more unique. We've mixed his in with um, some other artwork and his actually started a little bit more random because I did not begin with the end in mind. I just did hand prints and then decided to make it more of a collection which by the way is totally fine. It does not matter that these aren't all exactly eight by eight. I t am totally fine that it started differently. I'm not so OCD that it gets in the way of me continuing on. But back to my point, what I do is I just look at it each time. Every year I look at this and go, okay, I just go random with the colors every time. Here are the last couple. Which color do I feel like comes next? What is this little interruption? The best ever. What is this? It's a petal hug made by me. Aww. And it's your favorite color. It is my favorite color. Thank you, buddy. <laughs> mm, best pretzel hug of my life. So good. Okay, so see all the colors there? And then these colors right here. No science to this. None. It's just me kind of looking and going, hmm, what's missing? What's not? Or what's like the next color that feels like a good fit? Okay, now I'm walking around the corner into Claire's bedroom. And same thing, I'm looking at her collection to see what's next for her grouping. No rhyme or reason, no science to this, just kind of every year I did the same thing. I just went with something that I felt like would balance the last one and holistically looking at it what felt like a good fit. Okay, so I have these collections all over the house. Um, it just depends on who it is, where it is. I'm going downstairs to the playroom to check out Cruz's collection um, to see what's a good color for his. This is a fabulous background color that I sometimes I forget see. about. You wanna come in here with me? So we're in the playroom. Do you wanna see my fort? <laughs> yeah, we can, <laughs> we can show the fort, buddy. Oh no! Oh no, oh no, we'll come back to the fort. So, all right, not my like ideal situation because I really love cleared off surfaces and countertops, but this is just kind of a, fine, a fun side note. That's Claire and crew, and that's me, and that's David, and that's, and that's Porter. So all of these pictures represent childhood for all of us, and that's very appropriate for the playroom. So anyway, handprints, here are Crew's handprints from one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. 
so it's really simple. I just don't overthink this ever. I just literally step back like I am right now and I look at it and I kind of get a general sense for which colors are there and which colors are missing or I want to see next. And that's it. So I have chosen, usually the kids are involved. This time I just went for it and decided we are going to do blue hand print on orange background for crew. And those colors for Porter, these colors for Claire. I already had the colors um, on hand. I don't go shopping for them because I just always keep a couple dozen colors um, available. By the way, my girl did this. Seriously, so good. Okay, so we're all set up. Everyone's going to have a little plate and a couple foam brushes and the paint and the canvas and we are going to eat and then we're gonna do this. It's gonna be so fun. Last time I checked, Pippa is not invited to this painting party. <laughs> Sorry, Pippa, no offense, girly. Claire but... can't see me. Oh my goodness. I am the ghost. Okay, I, I know, you're ready. Let's eat first and then we'll do this, okay? Aww. Okay, had a yummy dinner, FaceTimed with my parents and my family in Maryland, and we are getting ready to do handprints, but first, Crew is, insists that you see his magic trick. All right, bud, go for it. For my trick, I'm gonna put these two balls together to make a cube. Okay, that's impossible. I mean, how can you even do that? I just, There's no way. There's no way this can happen. I just... Nope, I don't believe it. What? 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 Thank you. How is that even possible? I don't know. Dude. Okay, as we get this party started, let me just, Claire was so excited to get started that she forgot that we gotta shake that paint first. So do you kind of see how the paint stuff separated from the oil stuff? So anyway, just yeah. make sure we shake it up. Claire's bad. Leave it to your annoying 14 year old brother to say that you're bad. Order. Magic trick. No more magic tricks. Claire's very good. Step number one, guys, is you are going to unwrap like you've already done. Yep. And then find your paint. And, and your yes, I'm going to tell you which color is the background, and you're going to use the larger foam brush to paint the background. That's me. Two quotes. I mean coats. That's right, buddy. Shake it up. You got it. Oh, wow. Oh Wait, start the first stroke bad. Whatever. All right. That's perfect, sis. Thank you. Mom. Okay. So, this goes out to all mothers out there. Happy Mother's Day. I hope you have a good day. Aww. I hope you get to paint some canvases, you know. As Disney says, I didn't even tell him to say anything. That was really sweet. Okay, what does Disney say? As Disney says, um, make your mark on the world. Yeah, yep. it's deep. And I'm making my mark on this canvas. Yeah, you are. Dude, you're full of depth today. I know. So speaking of Porter, let's talk about age for a minute because I have wondered and David and I have thought ahead, like how long are we going to do this? Like how long do we do these handprints? Can I say? And we've decided that, um, you want to say? Yes. 16. Yeah, 16. We kind of figure that they, I mean, really, your hands won't grow that much more past Two more age years. 16. Yeah, so this is Porter's technically, well, he's 14 and a half, but this is his 14-year-old one because we're behind. Very behind. And behind. here, yeah, we're really behind. So here's another little tip. We're eight months behind. I know, buddy. We're behind. We got we it. Are. Everyone got that memo really clear. Okay, so we've lifted it up on this little styrofoam plate so that it's easier to get the sides and the edges. And it kind of depends on the color, but I think all three of these colors that we are doing are going to be at least two coats. How you doing there, bud? I'm a good painter. Yeah, you are. Just gonna say. Do you say this is so exhausting, huh, Pippa? She's just working so hard. What you looking at, Oreo? What do you see out there? So how we paint our canvases is we, of course, cover the front and the sides, but we do not go on the back. Um, no reason, just, you know, less paint there to touch walls. And then that's how I label the back of every single canvas. Let me finish my thought on that whole age 16 thing. The other thing about that, besides the 
hand size is beginning with the end in mind, a little different for Porter because I started his out differently, but with Claire and crew, 16 is four times four. So picture a grid of these canvases, four across, four down, perfect grid, 16. I like it. I like the sim symmetry. Never mind that we just had a great meal. Let's just bust out the cereal and what are we watching? Mm. What would you do of if course. she was here right now? <laughs> okay, so clearly we are losing focus. And actually that's just what they were doing between coats, which is fine, but I'm I'm checking these out for myself and I think I'm just gonna do the last coat. The... <laughs> Some days I feel like I cannot talk. I am going to finish the last coat on all three of these just to get it done because we want to move on and do other stuff, right, crew? Yep. Right, like more magic. That right there is a beautiful, beautiful final coat. This yes, one? yours is as well. And mine. Yep, and what would you call that color that I chose for you? What is it? What is it called? <laughs> Direct quote, he says, you have so many followers, I'm not gonna say that. Can I tell him? No. Can I tell him? No. Come on. I'm being serious. Tell him. For real? Yeah. He said let. <laughs> so I am digging this. I'm digging that I thought I was going to do the last coat on all three of these, but Claire and Porter. Porter. My name's Porter. <laughs> I'm sorry, buddy. Claire and Porter finished their episode of... Action. <laughs> my kids took my phone because now I have paint on my fingers, but look, Claire, look over here. So they just finished an episode of Studio C, finished their own, I finished Cruise, now they're gonna dry. I paint dry. too. Okay, I gave you a fair warning that this is gonna be a total play-by-play -play and behind the scenes. So now, now, I sit on the couch with my kids. They are, we're gonna watch Studio C while those canvases totally dry. What? Right, right? And the girl I was with when I first saw her, she had me like, what? Naughty, naughty, naughty. The girl I was with had me like, she had me like. Tie for handprints. Okay, that's good. That's good. That's good. Okay, and then we get the little brush. And we just don't mess around here. We just go straight to the hand. We don't even, like, get it on a plate first. So we're just spreading it all over the palm. Every part of it. Claire has the honor of doing it this time. Usually it's me, but she knows what's up. She's been doing this her whole life. No, she hasn't. Yeah, she has. She's 11. She's done it every year, just like you, bud. I know. She's only, I bet she's only remembered when you like. You're a smurf. Yay! <laughs> you are a smurf. Okay, so we got to make sure we get every part of it, like the sides, because of the way the print goes on the canvas. It's definitely, yep, full coverage. Okay, I'm just finishing this up here. We have to make sure his hand is really wet. The, the paint cannot be dry. Alright, spread your fingers nice and even. No, nope, not too far. Not too far. And then nice and slow we go down. Good. Okay. Okay, our little thing is that we gotta press down every part of the fingers. Make sure you get full coverage. And we never know how it's gonna turn out. We just always hope. One, two, three, okay? One, two, three. So, hmm, okay, this is gonna be just fine. It just, I think what happened here is the paint was already kind of drying, so it's not as full coverage as we usually have it. All right, Claire's turn. Nice. Okay, I'm gonna get all the little parts. Hopefully we have more paint this time. Don't move. Boom, love it. Claire's turned out great. Mm, 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 okay. I'm loving it. Last one. All right. Good enough for me. There's Porter's. There's Claire's. There's Cruz. And another year in the books. Bye. <laughs> wow. <laughs> We're done. Moving on.
So I was thinking like, man, this is quite the project. And I remember that every year that I do it and I'm always so glad that I do it. It's tradition. It's awesome. But I, now I remember why it gets put off so much. But I do love the tradition. My kids love the tradition. I just, yeah, we just, I, I'm being super real about like how long some of these things take and I wouldn't have it any other way. It's, it's good times. I mentioned that you can find this blogged um, on beckyhiggins.com. So when you search handprints, this is one post that will come up. And this is all about the tradition, kind of outlines the whole vision and plan. This is the other blog post that comes up. It's called Display Ideas. And this really just kind of goes through the different ways that we have each of the three kids' um, handprint collections displayed in the house. This was done a few years ago, so it's not as updated, but it's the same sun is going down and it is beautiful outside. We are going to go for a walk and I hope this was inspiring for those of you who are interested in the handprint tradition. It's nice to share this with you.